Hey everyone, Sam back once again, and today I've got another Android application review for you, and it's a new, new application called Awesome Notifier. Now you're thinking, okay, what's that all about? Well, it's pretty much what it says it is. It's a notification system that kind of like, it changed the whole aspect of how notifications do get actually put on your phone. We'll take a look at it now anyway. So, we shall like, just get onto the phone. So we'll zoom in really quick so you can get a good old view of it. So let's jump into my applications really quickly. Um, just actually running in the background, so here we go. So here it is, awesome notifier. So basically on here, obviously it tells you everything you need to know. So we'll go through this bit by bit really quickly so you get a good overview for it. So you get quick notifications. So you select your favorite avatars to serve your notifications, download themes and packs and get even more. Cool take action so then basically when you make a notification you can then you can either call them view it reply or delete it so what will happen is then you go into the application this pops up on screen which will show you demo in that in a moment and then you get this option here so you can effectively you know you do what you'd like to with it awesome notifications which I think is a pretty cool one so you see there, customise animations, background, fonts, colours and, and these beautiful full screen notifications. So effectively it will completely cover the whole screen and this will come up on top of it. But as you see again, you do get the option to do all those different options to like reply, delete, etc. And Android Fire, how cool is this? Basically you can use your Android avatars to actually use in here. So basically you can get create your own for each different person, let's say, and then obviously it'll pop up and go, hey, this this is for this, or this is for Gmail, or this is for a text message, which I think is pretty damn cool. So that option is coming soon. And important, this is the thing you'll need to make sure, make sure you manually disable notifications and pop-ups from your current applications. So if you currently use like GoSMS, Chomp, um, or Handsent, you make sure you do, do actually do you know, disable the notifications in that first of all. So here we go. At the moment, it is a brand new application, so it's not fully functioning in terms of everything's working. SMS is the only one that's working currently, but by the I'm actually quite you know, impressed by just this one at the moment. But as you can see here, coming soon, you will be having your Gmail, Facebook, and Twitter, and I'm sure as it goes along, they'll probably be able to offer custom notifications for other things as well. So we'll jump into the SMS one, uh, and basically these are the options you do get. So you activate your notifications and disable the other application notifiers. So obviously you can prevent duplicate notifications from the other SMS apps, which I think is pretty cool. You can then change your SMS sound, which I've currently obviously got as my own. So we'll jump into the settings, and this is where you can actually customize all of it. So when your screen is on, these are the different options you can have. You can have your awesome, and then basically what you can do is you can customize it. So you can currently have that. You can have like a background for that one and go, hmm, I prefer like a nice black background. So I mean, these are all just the ones that do come standard at the moment. So for cool, that looks pretty funky. So yeah, we'll accept that one. And then go, right, what do I need to look like? So this is the way you can choose which font you would particularly like. And be like, um, I quite like that one. That'll do for me. So yep, yeah, I'll accept that. And the best you can have your animation, you can have non, fade in or pop in. So I'll decide I'll have fade in. Sounds pretty cool. And then you can have your auto dismiss, dismiss time. So basically if you're deciding, right, I want it to disappear after 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever it might be. So we'll say five seconds. So it gives us a, a bit of a time to get into it. And then you can test the notification. So if you tap that there, it shows you a chest of it. So I'll show you really quickly. And boom. So then at the bottom, obviously you do get those options at the bottom. But as I put it for five seconds, it goes. So we'll change that really quickly so you get a bit of a look of it for you. So we'll do 20 seconds. So what will happen is let's say it's in a text message. So you get awesome notifier. This is an example of an awesome notifier message. Get those options. But then if you watch it, obviously you do get these there. But then watch this on the screen. Probably shoot it to about 10 seconds. But it should just basically kind of go. There we go. Now, how cool does that look? Eh? Got to make it does look pretty cool. So, there for your screen on notifications. For screen off, you've got the exact same options. So, we'll show you basic, We'll show you the quick and the standard one in just a moment as well. Um, actually, we'll show you that now. So, we'll show you what the quick one is. Again, it's all exactly the same. So, with the quick one, 
you can go, right, you want to select your avatar? So you're like, right, um, which one looks pretty cool? Which one shall we have? Hmm. Yeah, let's be honest, we're all going to pick the Android one just for now because, let's be honest, <laughs> the Android guy looked pretty damn spiffy. So basically, then you can choose where do you want it to come in? Do you want it to come to top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right? Well, I've been using the bottom left, but we'll say top right now. So it should pop in just about here. Yep, I'll pay with that. Once again, you can choose your time. So you go, right, I'll have this for 10 seconds. And then here we go. So we'll just do a quick test. What will happen is the guy will pop in the top right hand corner just here. And then you'll get like a little on screen message as well. They see him. And again, another notification. So once again, you can do your options straight away. And as again, what will happen there, that will basically just disappear off the screen after 10 seconds. And off he goes. Once again, how cool does it look? It is just a cool little application, you know, just to basically spice up your notifications. And last but not least, you've got your standard one. So you can choose where you like to come in. So basically, you can kind of like obviously, you know, choose your different thing for your notification. And then basically up the top, which you should hopefully see. See that just there? Awesome notifier. There we go. It's exactly, you know, it just basically uses like a standard application. So, you know, I personally wouldn't use a standard. I use either awesome or quick. What I've been currently testing on, I've been doing quick for while my screen's on. So it obviously doesn't interrupt me from doing something else properly. I can just dismiss it. But when the screen's off, I've been using awesome. So, you, boom, you get the whole awesome experience, let's say. So then these notification settings. So you've got your backslash home buttons disabled. So you can disable them straight off the bat, which is pretty cool. You can dismiss your notifications. I hope you can see that there. Automatic dismiss the notification when there's an incoming call. Pretty damn cool. Notifications bar icon. So the icon to be used when you've got a standard notification. So you can basically choose between all these different ones here. So you can use the awesome notifiers. I can use like the Android Blue. Awesome icon, you know, different versions, envelope, handset, etc. I'm just using the awesome one at the moment. And the avatar gallery. So basically, you can just take a look through it, see what's in there. So they're the standard ones. And obviously, if you want to add your own, you'll be able to basically click that and then you'll be able to download application packs. At the moment, again, it is a brand new application, so it is still in the development stage to get more things out there. But basically, when you click that, You'll be able to go to that to the market, download new ones, get you know custom ones, and go from there. So, how cool is this local application? But honestly, I've been pretty impressed with it. There are other versions and like other kind of notifier applications out there, but this one seems to be the, the cleanest one I've seen. You know, that little notification coming in, the full screen application. It just looks cool and it works. So I'm looking forward to getting these three, um, and maybe custom options in the future. You know, I'll be a lot happier if I can have um, everything running, not just SMS. But for now, it's cool, it's free. That's probably one of the main things. And as you know, you know me, I like things that are free. You know, as an example, it's free to subscribe to my channel. So yeah, go check it out. Links in the description if you're going to check out Awesome Notifier. Um, I think it's a cool application, and the guys who make this also make Wave Launcher. So for all those people out there thinking what's Wave Launcher, go check that out in the actual market as well. Very cool application. And you'll if you you know if you've seen it before, you were thinking, why have I never used this before? So yeah, go check that out as well. Anyway, people, any questions with regards to awesome notifier, anything else I've done, you know what to do by now. Hit me up down below. Follow me on Twitter at Sam J Pullum. I've got Facebook, Google Plus, all in the description. And yeah, don't forget to uh, like this video and click that subscribe button because, as I said before, it is free. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get off now. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in my next one. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.